If so, I'll start right now. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm gonna pick a random person from chat. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, touch, talk about it, so if you callers let them go. Eeny, meeny, miny, skunky! Oh my god, skunky! Lucky you! <laughs> skunky! This marathon run is dedicated to you. Where did you come from, man? Exclamation points. <laughs> so, alright, welcome to Castlevania 3. Now, the, this might take me a second to get used to the physics in this game. Okay, good. Timer's working. You are worthy, Skunky. <laughs> You've been chosen. You've been chosen. You are going to get me through this game. Let's hope the wrong warp gods are with you. Are with us tonight. The run to Vatnab! I should have, the Gotch. I didn't think of that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's so high. It goes up so high. <laughs> I can't sing that. Every single time I get there, I, I, I start to worry. I even messed up the run right there. I bumped into the skeleton <laughs> because I was trying to hit the notes. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty silly. <laughs> the notes leading up to it, I didn't hit it, so I was worried. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I have a I have a nickname. Afarakatu calls me the uh, the human whammy bar. <laughs> I've always loved that name. Ever since I first heard it. I'm not doing it again, because that hurt my throat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's new strats for this screen. I forgot how to do them all. Hey, I got the fireball jump at least. So yeah, uh, the main difficulty in this is to... Well, let's see. Uh, there, there, the reason I decided to put this in a marathon is because... Uh, we found a, a consistent way to do it. We found a way to... Th there's this one screen in the wrong warp. Oh, I just gave away the surprise. <laughs> there's a wrong warp in this game. And that's what I'm going to perform for you today. Oh, dang it! That was a perfect campfire, but I stood in the wrong spot. You extend your whip out over the, over the campfire to the left, and it looks like si uh, Trevor is roasting marshmallows. Over an open flame. This is the is this Japan Grant Percent? Does it sound like Japan Grant Percent? No, it doesn't. <laughs> this is superior to Grant. Japan Percent. But I am going to go up and get Grant. You cannot get the wrong wall working unless you have Grant with you. So, whoopsie. I could easily die right here. It drops you off on these staircases kind of really close to the edge, so I'm, I'm taking these jumps and these ledges here very, very, very meticulously, making sure not to die, going real slow, and right here as well, good. Okay, that's the last ledge I'm, I have to worry about. You know what I should have done? <laughs> you should, to prep for this run, what I should have done is uh, loaded some stuff in like an emulator or something. Loaded some save states. That way in case this goes horribly wrong, which it's a marathon so it's going to. <laughs> I can just load that up instead of having to uh, start from the password in this stage. See, that's the other thing. The only uh, if if uh, if the glitch doesn't work, the only way to attempt the glitch again is to start it from this stage. 
And from here to the glitch, it takes about, I don't know, it takes about five minutes or so to get back. Because you can start from the second half of the stage, going down. Instead of having to go up. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, Spaz, it might work. In all three, yeah, yeah, Holy Water is super broken in this game. It's <laughs> even more broken in Castlevania 2, it's insane. The one game where it's supposed to be the weakest. It's supposed to be the weakest weapon you got. And it winds up being the strongest of all three Castlevanias. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bad pattern. Gonna have to wait for it. And take a hit here, that's fine. Ooh, that's a scary pattern there. Okay, good. Okay, welcome to Grant. This is a really hard fight. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Stupid Grant. I was gonna joke that it's a hard fight, because he's supposed to die in like one second, but he was able to jump out of my holy water there. But alright, we made it. We made it to Grant. And we're going to use Grant for the rest of the run. My name is Grant. I dreamed I was turned. Please take me with you, my fam. What will you do? Take him with you, leave him behind. I can help a lot be- Sorry, the text goes by way faster than I can read it. Fun fact. You hold A to make the text scroll by faster, but if you hold A all the way to that point where they're walking out of the exit, it actually goes faster there, too. If you keep on holding A all the way to the black screen, it'll transition to the black screen two seconds faster. That's that's just something weird. It's like the it's like the cutscene is connected to the text somehow. Ah, thought I could stab it. So I bet you're wondering, how in the heck is this faster? If you're going up to the clock tower, how is this the any percent strategies if you're going to a stage that takes like five more minutes to complete than the other way? Well, <laughs> just sit back. <laughs> I'll show you. Now, the, the tough part here is I have to get to the swamp and all the way to the final staircase with full health. I cannot take a single hit. And if I do, there is a meat that I can grab, but I also have to not take a hit on the way to the meat. So that's going to be tough. That's going to be real scary for the for the marathon. I was able to do it last time. We'll see if I can do it this time as well. See, if you die and start over, everything has changed. And you can no longer do the wrong warp. And what I want is the wrong warp. But if I can't do that, at the very least, I will show off the, the glitch heaven that is used to attain the wrong warp. Yes, grab that. You <laughs> take your pants off. <laughs> what the heck? Who said that? I didn't say that. That wasn't me. Whoops. That's right. <laughs> the music stops when you stop time. Grant makes these out these owls so trivial. He just he uses the stopwatch. Every other pattern, or sorry, every other path in this game that you can take, every other category, those owls are such a big deal. They're such a nuisance. <laughs> Me neither, Supersonic. I have sweatpants on. I don't know if that counts. But they're black sweatpants, so you can't see them in the dark. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We are at the swamp now. Here's something I tend to forget in my no reset runs. You have to go down right here. If you go to the, like in every other grant path, you go to the right. 
you just take the top path there. But in this one, you gotta go down. And sometimes, for some reason, that's hard to remember. No, you don't, frog. Oof. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that part's scary. You gotta make sure you're at full health, or else this will not work. Alright, so here goes nothing. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I'd better remember how to do this. It's freaking marathon day. But I've been known to forget this at times. I don't know. Just a lapse in my brain. Climb, Grant, climb! Here we go. So this is Glitch Heaven. Uh, this was found by Produx a long time ago. And... He decided to explore. This is something like five years ago, I think now? Products explored this whole section. And he found that going down and up these staircases and transitioning in certain ways actually results in... It, it, well, it, re it results in different screens. And then he found out that you can... Uh, you can actually, you can actually uh, transition screens to the point where you can actually skip stages. And you can change the whole memory address. Okay, here's the first RNG point. Let's pray. Good. Alright, that's a good start. So I'm going to take this a little safe. The world record does not uh, swap characters right there. But I'm going to take it a little safe. Every single time, yeah, every single time it glitches my character out like that, I can't see the enemies. And if I bump into an enemy, the run's over. So, I'm gonna try and focus as hard as I can on this screen. Three, four, five, and six. Oh, this guy. I hate that guy. That's the, my least favorite spawn in glitch section. That looks like the uh, whole game craft out there, but don't worry. Hopefully, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we just keep going up like this. You are in good hands, Castlevania 3. Alright. Oh, don't forget. Down, up, and down. I'm actually kind of worried there because I, uh... I walked upstairs a little further than normal, so hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Everything looks okay so far? Yep, everything looks normal. Okay, here's the Medusa screen. Down. And Cyclops? Good. Now, if everything is okay, here goes nothing. So, one, two, three. Uh-oh. Oh, it didn't work. It actually didn't work. Okay, so what that means is I have one more chance to try this out. And I'm going to have to do this from the password. And it's going to put me quite a bit back. So let's see what we got here. We got blank, heart, blank, 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 heart, whip, blank, whip, blank, 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 rosary, blank. It's like a one in five chance, believe it or not. It's like a one in five chance that it would not work. And I got, I happened to get it so that it would not work. So that's unfortunate. And no, it wasn't caused by uh, it wasn't caused by walking too high up on that one screen. It's just I got unlucky. That's all there is to it. You got unlucky, so you got to start over. But I made the estimate 20 minutes for that reason. So let's hope. Let's hope we got it. And we're on the second half of Clock Tower, so this will <clears throat> excuse me. This will go by much faster. It's crazy. In the in the last marathon, we didn't even have we didn't ha even have that uh, pause manipulation, and I still got it first try somehow. I got really lucky in that marathon. But this time, even with the pause manipulation, I still got bad luck. <laughs> it's not the TV. It's not my internet either. We can blame my internet though. I like to blame my internet for just about everything in the world. <laughs> so we can we can we can blame my we can blame my internet for that RNG. Hmm. 
But hey, this is nothing. This is nothing different to failing the morning grind in Castlevania 2. And it's too expensive. That's true. My internet. <laughs> if I watch a lot of Twitch during the month, my internet bill goes up to about four hundred dollars <laughs> in the month because they don't have an unlimited plan, and there is no internet service around here that that offers one. Well, there, there's one, but. The download is 1.4 <laughs> megabits, and the upload is 0 0.5. So that's not exactly streamable internet. I gotta go with this one, even though it's expensive. It's unfortunate, but hey, that's the situation. Yep, $400 a month. I've been watching less Twitch lately. And, and when I do watch Twitch, I make sure it's in mobile quality. <laughs> when I stream, I try to make it good quality, though. Okay. Just don't get hit, and we're fine. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back to Glitch Heaven. So again, if I take a hit here, it's over, and I can no longer do it. But, I didn't really want to show off a full run more than I wanted to just show off the glitch heaven. Ooh. There's a scary spawn there. Ooh, back spawn. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I made sure that frog was behind me so I wouldn't get any more spawns potentially in front of me. All it does is put me in danger. So it looks like I'm at 16 minutes, yeah, and this glitch takes about 2 minutes or so. Which means I'd better do it this try. If not, um, I'll ask if it's okay, I guess, to try one more time, but if not, I can just... <laughs> I got to show off what I wanted to show off, and that was the glitch heaven. No, TV's flickering again! Stop it, TV! <laughs> don't make the T don't make what's happening in front of me more glitchy than it already is. Please. Man, what a What a day this has been for my hardware. <laughs> for both my hardware and my internet. What in the heck, man? If the TV completely cuts out on me, then uh, I'm going to have to Okay, so down. Please, no block. Okay, no block. Thank goodness. That's RNG section one out of the way. So last time we made it to RNG section two. <laughs> I got one more chance. I got one more chance to make it to RNG section two and get through it. Hopefully it'll work this time. Get out of here. The unfortunate thing about any percent attempts in this game is this is my least favorite track in the game, and this is what you hear, this is what you hear the most often. Five and six, okay. No, you don't, fish man. Another one. Get out of here. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's just annoying when things go wrong. Okay, let's go down and up and down. I know this is a <laughs> this is a hell of a thing in this game. It's unbelievable what they what you can get away with. But it's just one big playground. You can just explore as much as you want here. Okay, Medusa screen. Cyclops screen. Okay, pray for me. FB timer, that's usually good. So, a one, two, three. We got it. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay, so, oh, 19 minutes, dang. 
Unfortunately, I'm not going to make my estimate, but... <laughs> Can you expect any any less with Castlevania 2, Castlevania 1 with internet difficulties, and this? Welcome to the last stage of Castlevania 3. And believe it or not, this is still faster than any other category. <laughs> now I just gotta beat the game. <laughs> Let's see if I actually have any skill in this game. And I can actually beat the last stage as well. Nah, it's okay. It's okay, I've got the record in this category as well. So hopefully, I still remember how to do the last stage. Although I don't have that much practice at it. Unfortunately. I did most of my practice in Castlevania 1. But all that got thrown out the window, thanks. Thanks a lot, Internet. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a good... Yeah. I shouldn't be throwing extra axes here. I want to make sure I hit things with every axe. Because the only way to build up a multiplier is by hitting things with your sub-weapon. And I want to have a double shot by the time I get to the end of the stage here. Good. I tried to go for the uh, tried to go for the boost left on the fireball. I was able to do that with Trevor in the first stage, but unfortunately, it's too hard for me here. So I did something stupid at AGDQ. I skipped the meat, and it looks like I'm doing that again. <laughs> I am an idiot, man. What is wrong with me? I'm just gonna hit all the candles. I might even go back up and down the stairs to make sure that I have enough. I do this best with a triple shot, anyway. Dee -dee. Uh-oh. Ooh, I barely made that. <laughs> uh, every, time I, every time I play this in a marathon, I make it so clutch. And I don't know why I do that. Alright, so 23. I'm going to go back up and down right here, just to make sure I have enough hearts for Dracula. Make sure I kill him this time around. There we go. There's my triple. 26 hearts. What does that mean? Uh, 8 hearts here. 34. I'm good. Okay, we have enough. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm actually scared to get close to him. Oops, throw the other way. Ooh, I'm out of axes. Okay. Oh, no. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're okay. I'm just going to make this a two cycle to be safe. No, you don't, Mr. Laser. Okay. <laughs> that laser tricked me last time. It killed me. I'm not letting it trick me this time. Okay, second try, uh, tr second try wrong work. That was good. That's actually better than I, you know, that's better than I could have hoped for. At least I got it. <laughs> My apologies to the crew that uh, I didn't make the estimate. <laughs> I barely made the estimate in uh, Castlevania 2, and I straight up missed the estimate in Castlevania 3, but we're pretty close to schedule, I think. Alright, that's it. Thank you all for watching.